action. Well, howdy folks, good old wrestlinger here again. Well, here's my grinder torn apart. It's been 24 hours since I made a video of it, letting you all know that it bit the dust. Well, here's the head. I got it, I just took it off not too long ago. Yeah, inside doesn't look bad. It's, it's all metal, so that's good. No plastic there except on the top. This is mainly a cover, so it's no big deal. Yeah, the head's still good. I'll save it, but the the body, it's it's going to hit the garbage real quick as soon as I'm done making this video. Here's the part. Actually, it's mainly the motor. Doesn't look too bad. Focus, stupid camera. Yeah, right there, the teeth it don't look bad either. Here's the coolant fins. Oh yeah, it's just kind of discolored here and there, little discolored spots from overheating. We're actually probably arcing when it when the breaker tripped. Oh, there's a little bit of wear and tear on the bottom there, not too severe. Probably save the motor or trash it, I don't know. I'm going to save the head though because it's still got a good head. Head is still real good on it. Plus it's metal too. Yeah, right there, if you can see it, there's where it's burned out. And it's burned out right there too. It's pretty much burned out everywhere. Top and bottom, it's kind of scorched down there too. This makes me mad because I spent... Let's see, I think it was about $70 for the stupid grinder. There, almost two years ago. It's not even that old. Even though it was built in 2010, but it was purchased in July of uh, 2011. At the local hardware store. Well, next time these go on sale, I'll buy it. Buy another one. I think they're like $39.99 on sale. I think it was uh, $59.99 when it's not on sale. So it's like $60.00. Between sixty dollars to close to seventy dollars after tax, so it's close enough. So it's not really seventy bucks, but it's close enough. <laughs> kind of reminds me of that Zephmont's videos when his grinder melted down. Except his his had more electrical damage than mine does right here. Except it was on his older videos. Well, that sucks. That really sucks. This is a good, this was this was a good grinder. Probably the heavy cutting and grinding must have caught up to it. So get another when I get another one, it's gonna be light cutting. If I have to do some long cutting, just have to do it slowly. And if she starts getting hot, just back off. Yeah, what happened was when I was I was cutting a crankshaft on a Briggs and Stratton because I'm scrapping it and of course and it starts smelling funny and then all of a sudden in a hurry it started belching out smoke and it tripped the breaker and it's been fried ever since and she's never going to be run again so there you go my burned out 2010 Dewalt grinder it's done for for good so y'all have a good night bye bye